what if Goku got mystic power instead of Gohan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 1? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Today's discussion is my Z fans, what if Goku got mystic power instead of Gohan? Or in other words, what if he got his potential unleashed instead of Gohan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z and more importantly, how would this impact Goku's life? One thing we know is that when Goku had the opportunity to get his potential unlocked, right after when Gohan did it, Goku had to go because Gohan was in trouble, otherwise he agreed to do it. But then again we had this opportunity where inside the Tournament of Power, the old Kai told Goku he'll unleash his potential and when Goku agreed they realized they didn't have time. Although they could have been a smart ass go inside a hyperbolic time chamber and get their potential unleashed with very less time, you could save a lot of time because of that. But hey, I guess Akira Toriyama did not want Goku to have mystic form but now in this this what if what if goku got mystic power instead of gohan how would this really impact dragon ball z because one thing we know is that mystic power is very good and as a huge goku fan i hate it when people used to say mystic gohan is stronger than super saiyan 3 goku although it is true that he was stronger than goku because gohan's mystic power was op but if Goku got Mystic Form, he will just be more OP than Gohan because he already has a stronger base. So at the end of this question, I'd like for you guys to share me your thoughts on this, what do you think would happen, and how you think this would have play out. Well, my Z fans, what are you waiting for? Let's get right to the discussion. What if Goku got Mystic Power instead of Gohan? Part 1. So to begin this what if, please make sure you guys click the bell and if you haven't already liked this video, drop a like so you can guys show that you're supporting this video. Now this video is going to take place, or this what if you can say is going to take place right after when Goku had to return back to Otherworld and he began sensing and he sees that Gohan power was coming far from the west as he had no idea what that is, he just was searching for Gohan's power but he was very happy to know that Gohan was alive. With that, Goku went and he began sensing to see where Gohan is as he saw that Gohan's power was coming far from another planet as it was fate and that he was really happy to know that his son is alive. Goku then without wasting any time went and he instant transmission right to where Gohan was as he found himself on a planet which he has never seen before and this planet is the sacred planet of the Kais. Once when Goku got there, just like in the original, the Kais were very surprised to see that how did Goku come here, while well, Goku saw that Gohan was busy training with the Z Sword, and from there, Gohan continued to go and get stronger. Goku then wanted to test out the Z Sword himself as he took it, and from there, he realized it was heavy, but he decided to go and train it to see where he stands with the Z Sword. And after reeling it for some time, Goku was able to move it fast like Gohan. As Gohan was impressed too, but Goku realized that Gohan has to go back to Earth. But from there, Supreme Kai kind of suggested for them to test out to see how powerful the Z Sword is. They try to do everything they can to break it, but when Supreme Kai threw his rock towards Goku, Goku's Z Sword ended up breaking, allowing the old Kai to come out. Once when the old Kai came out, since it was in Goku's hand when the Z Sword broke, he then saw that Goku was the one to release him, as he couldn't stop thanking Goku, and from there he told Goku, For your reward, how about I unleash your potential? I can see you got a lot. What? <laughs> My potential? <laughs> uh, I mean, that does sound good, but I'm not the one that's going to be fighting Majin Buu. Majin Buu? What? Kai, you're telling me Majin Buu's still alive? Uh, yes, he is. We couldn't stop him, he's too strong. Well then, what are we waiting for? I'm gonna begin with you. How about you start with Gohan? You know, that's my son right here. He's not the one that unleashed me, you did. And besides, you have a higher parry base power than him. If you were to get this unlocked, your power would go just beyond what you could imagine. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay then, let's try it. Uh, Dad, are you sure? Yeah, I'm serious, Gohan. After me, you could do it too then. 
With that, Goku proceeded to go and sit with the old Kai. As the old Kai went and he began unleashing Goku's potential. Throughout the process, Goku was very weirded out along with Gohan since this is the very first time seeing it happen and that the old Kai was doing a lot of weird bougie shit. He was doing a lot of dancing around Goku and stuff like that and from there he began to go and unleash Goku's potential. Goku had to wait over 24 hours for it to be fully unleashed just like in the canon and as you know it 24 hours has passed and it was time for Goku's power to finally be unleashed as the old Kai has not finished unleashing Goku's power and from there Goku said he doesn't feel anything. Well then how about you just go to your you know super saiyan form. Wait you mean if I transformed then I could feel it? Yeah. <laughs> okay then let's try. With that Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now gone and he transformed into his mystic form as he had no idea what happened but his hair went to a super saiyan form but at the same time it wasn't golden his hair was pure black just like his base form as Goku had no idea but he could sense just how powerful this power was as he was really impressed and from there he said whoa so this is my mystic power <laughs> yes it is you finally got your potential unlocked and the way how Majin Buu is right now, you could easily kill him! Goku, you must go fast! Majin Buu, he managed to go and absorb the boys! What? You mean go go ten and Trunks? They're gone? Yeah, and now he's gonna go and absorb Piccolo! He has already killed everyone! You must hurry, Goku! Right, okay then! But wait! I'm dead! How could I go back? Don't worry about that! Here you go! With that, Goku saw that the old Kai went and he exchanged his life to Goku as he died and Goku was alive again. With that, Goku was really touched as he couldn't believe that the old Kai made a sacrifice for him but he told Goku that he did it for the universe, not for him and that Goku, if he wants to repay him back, he must win this battle. Don't worry, I promise I'll do everything I can to beat him. Okay then, let's go. With that, Goku went and he began to lock on to Majin Buu's power as he could sense it and from there Goku went in the instant transmission back to planet earth. Goku has now arrived to earth as he saw that the condition was really bad. A lot of people were dead, there was hardly anyone there and that the entire city turned into nothing but wasteland. But from there Majin Buu flew right towards Goku as he came right next to him and said, So, you are the one I've been sensing this whole time. Hmm, Majin Buu, huh? I could see you went through a lot of changes. You're not fat no more. <laughs> Forget fat. I am so strong. How about I kill you right here and right now? Sure. I'd like to see you try. With that, Goku went and he powered up his key as the battle has now begun. Majibu went and he charged right towards Goku as he tried to strike him, but Goku dodged it and from there Goku went and he kneed Majibu right in his stomach getting Buu to gasp for air and from that Goku went and he punched him across his face as Buu got sent flying towards the ground. Once when Buu got up he was confused wondering what the hell how could Goku do this to him and from there he looked towards Goku and said what the hell are you? How'd you touch me like this? <laughs> well Majin Buu have you had it enough or do you want to see how strong I am? I'm hardly even using my full power. Oh really? Okay then. But then Majibu went and he began to get a lot of steam coming out of his body as he began to power up and from there he rushed right towards Goku and he tried to hit him but Goku dodged all of his attack and from there Goku went and kneed him in his face as he went and uppercut Majibu and from there he went and he slammed him right towards the ground. Majibu was speechless to see how powerful Goku is as he couldn't believe that Goku's power is this strong and with that he decided to go and blow himself up as he began to power up and from there when he did that Goku could sense what he was doing as Goku quickly instant transmission out of the area and from there he saw that Dende was there along with Mr. Satan. Goku was happy to see that Dende is alive and that they could use the Dragon Balls to wish for Majin Buu victims to be brought back to life. As Goku decided to go and finish this off and from there Goku went and he powered up his key and he rushed right towards Majin Buu and said, 
It's time we put an end to words this Majin Buu. Now die! Goku went and he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave as he aimed it right towards Buu. Buu tried to hold it off but Goku was too strong as Goku managed to go and kill him but with that everyone that was absorbed within Buu has also died. Goku then saw that his son has died along with Piccolo as he had to do something about it and from there he decided to go an instant transmission to planet Namek. Once when he got there, Goku then told the Namekians if they could use his Dragon Balls as they agreed to give Goku the Dragon Balls and from there he has summoned Parunga and he wished for his sons to be alive again along with Piccolo but turns out Piccolo was already alive. He wasn't absorbed by Majin Buu. With that, Goku then wished for Vegeta to come back to alive since Vegeta did sacrifice himself as he also fulfilled that wish as Goku has instant transmission right back to Earth and he saw that Vegeta was there along with Dende and from there Vegeta was shocked to see just how strong Goku was and said, Damn Kakarot, what the hell are you doing with your power? How'd you get this strong? <laughs> it's a long story Vegeta, but I'm glad you're okay. Welcome back buddy. <laughs> Whatever. With that, Goku then told Dende to summon Shenron as they wish for everyone who Majin Buu has killed to be brought back. And with that, everyone can has come right back to planet Earth. Gohan, on the other hand, continued to train with the old Kai as he decided to get his potential unleashed and once when he did, Supreme Kai went and he kai kai Gohan right back to planet Earth as he came to celebrate with Goku and the rest of the Z fighters that they finally managed to put the end towards Majin Buu. After all, Buu was a very dangerous foe but they managed to put an end towards him. Unfortunately the bad part about this was Goku and Vegeta didn't fuse and therefore they did not use their Vegito for the first time but that's okay. Goku's mystic power was enough to take out Majin Buu. Goku then wanted to go and continue to train so he could get even stronger as he could feel that there's a power beyond mystic form and from there he started to go and train it non-stop. Little did Goku knew, far in the galaxy. A destroyer has now woke from his slumber as a few months has passed since Goku killed Majibu and from there he went and called out Whis and said, Whis? Yes my lord, I'm glad to see you're awake finally. Uh, tell me Whis, has the Super Saiyan God come out yet? Mm, no, nope. I never heard about that my lord. But what I can tell you is that there's this mortal named Goku. He managed to get his potential unleashed. What? Goku? He's a Saiyan? Yep. Is that so? And the potential unleashed, that means the old Kai has been broke from his seal. I sealed that old bastard a long time ago. I'm surprised he was able to come out now. That is correct, my lord. He's out, and he also unleashed Goku's potential. Very well then, Reese. What are we waiting for? I want to see this Goku fella. To find out what happens in the next episode, you're going to have to click the bell as we have Beer as a destroyer. Now woken up from his slumber, and he heard that Goku is a pretty much a strong foe to fight with. For that, you're going to have to click the bell to see how the battle comes out, as we're going to end this what if right here. If there's anything you guys like about this video we discussed about, please give me a like, I'll greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And if you haven't subscribed to my boy Vegeta T23, please help subscribe to him, help him get up to 10,000 subs, as he makes awesome what if based on Vegeta. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell, that way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.